There is nothing that damages a child more than being unhappy at school. So when it comes to bullying, when it comes to, to sexual violence, when it comes to any form of violence, it makes a child's life an absolute misery. There's a clear connection, even with what could be perceived as a simple barrier as cost of education, it's always linked to uh, the gender aspect, the vulnerability, particularly of girls, and sexual abuse uh, and exploitation and harassment. In almost every country where we do research on the right to education, it comes up and it's systemic. It often responds to like serious failures in, by the education system or the government as a whole to acknowledge it as a central issue and a barrier to both primary but particularly secondary education when adolescents are most exposed and vulnerable to sexual violence. It negatively impacts on participation in learning. So children have to withhold and govern their behaviours and often are quite anxious about who or how to be at school when gender-based violence is going on around them. She's not able to concentrate or he's not able to concentrate if he knows that uh, any slight mistake, my teacher is going to cane me. We've done pieces of studies and we found out that one of the key factors why they are getting out of school is violence against children in schools. It's contributing at around 20%. They're getting out of school because of corporal punishment, sexual abuse, neglect by parents and teachers. When people are the victims of violence in any form, they're more likely to suffer from mental health distress. Some of them will suffer inwardly and become withdrawn, will not want to participate in the activities happening in the school. Those who involve in perpetrating violence are also vulnerable. So in the long term, people who engage in forms of violence as young people are much more likely to go on and repeat those patterns of violence in adulthood. They're more likely to become people who take risks with drugs and alcohol and get caught up in other forms of antisocial behaviour. 